Hi everyone, it's me again and little um, bunny here. Um, we are breastfeeding, so two weeks going strong, two weeks and I want to say three days. Yes, so I'm very proud of myself. I'm very proud of Bunny. We just um, had our follow-up appointment today with um, our lactation um, consultant, um, Abby, um, from Arizona Breastfeeding uh, Medicine in Scottsdale. I highly recommend um, that place is a second time around, well, second child I've taken there for their, um, you know, um, breastfeeding help and also um, lactation advice. And then, of course, um, with their tongue tie issues and uh, releases and stuff. So, anyways, if you're in the Arizona area, I highly recommend you guys check them out because, well, I highly recommend them. I drove all the way because I live far away from Scottsdale so I had to drive all the way to Scottsdale which I don't mind because I just want my babies to get the best um that they can um anyways so yeah today we had our follow-up appointment and everything went great um she's healing just fantastic and she's 8.7 pounds so she's growing she's thriving and I'm so proud and our breastfeeding journey is uh continuing to go strong thankfully um, life in general has been kind of hectic, but good kind of hectic just because, um, in general, um, you know, our day starts at five, um, and then I take the kids to school at 630, um, and don't get home till like eight, um, just because like the travel, like commuting and everything, cause I have to drop them off in two different locations in the city. Um, but today, um, was a little bit different because my son's school, um, was not open today for, um, you know, Thanksgiving break because tomorrow is Thanksgiving. So all you, um, peeps out there, happy Thanksgiving. I hope you guys are having an amazing time with your loved ones and make sure that you share these times because honestly, um, you don't really get a lot of opportunities to spend time with your family. So if you're, um, spending time with your family this time of year, I highly recommend you try to make the most memories that you can, sit down, talk to them, and everything. But anyways, that's beside the point. Um, yeah, so a little bit different today. So I dropped off my daughter at daycare because they were open today. Tomorrow they're not open. And then um, I took my son to the appointment as well, which was great because it's super kid-friendly and everything like that, which I'm very grateful. But um, the follow-up was great. We got out of there within like 45 minutes. And then I drove back and then um, we treated ourselves to some Starbucks, although I did not drink my Starbucks. I just didn't get a chance to even drink my coffee. Um, as you know, Starbucks has like their drinks, um, their holiday drinks out now. So my favorite, and let me know in the comments down below what's your favorite uh, Starbucks um, or a holiday beverage essentially, like what, what exactly you like drinking around like the holidays and stuff like that. Um, mine right now, well, it's been for like a few years now, is a chestnut praline latte. It's so good. I love the nutty taste and I love that it's not overbearing and sugar. Um, and that's, that's my current fave. And then as far as like pastry from Starbucks, I love this time of year because they released the Cranberry Bliss Bar and that's my ultimate favorite one. Um, whenever, um, like I get a chance, like when they have it available, I like to buy like the whole, um like cartridge if that makes sense that comes with like six of them and I absolutely love them so good so yummy um definitely don't eat them all the time but I just treated myself because like it was it was much needed and you know um as far as like postpartum wise I'm not doing anything as far as like um changing up my diet um I don't really drink coffee I tried drinking my coffee, I just don't get to it. It's not that I don't want to drink coffee, it's just like I just don't get time for it. And if I'm like really thirsty, that honestly I do get really thirsty, I just like drink my water. And um, I drink uh, brisk iced tea, iced tea because like I'm like severely addicted to that stuff. Um, but yeah, everything is good. Yesterday we also had our two week appointment with a pediatrician. She's doing so good, and I mentioned the fact that her belly button, like, um, fell off, like, basically the first week. Um, and she was all like, oh, that's fine, a little bit early, but she's totally fine. And, um, she told me that I could give her baths and everything like that, which I already bathed with the baby. 
Um, and then we did like a Sith's Bath, which is baby friendly as well. I looked it up and everything. Great natural company. Um, I don't really know the name of the company off the top of my head because honestly, my memory is shot. Um, but it's very natural and we just um, relaxed in there for just like five minutes max. And then I, I, I cleaned her and everything and, you know, it was a nice, it was a nice mommy and daughter bath. I wish my bathtub was a little bit bigger, but I'll take what I can get. I, I'm very grateful that we have running water. Um, but yeah, that's another little update, um, two week update for little bunny and me, um, as far as like postpartum um, emotions and stuff, postpartum healing, the fourth trimester, I think I'm doing very well this time around. Um, I want to do really like a um, in-depth video of my feelings and my just emotional um, and physical healing this time around. I think I'm ready to talk about it. Um, this time around was a lot easier because I did have like my my sister Paloma, she came down like literally like the next day when Bunny was born and she helped me out a lot and honestly I like I needed it and I'm so grateful that she was here and everything like that and um yeah very grateful um for everyone who has helped me out and supported me and everything but yeah can you believe it's already Thanksgiving tomorrow and then soon enough is gonna be New Year's um, 2022 and my son is gonna be five so crazy and then Sienna the the two-year-old is gonna be three and well I have my hands full but my heart is so full and I absolutely love it um, but yeah I just wanted to share like a quick update that our breastfeeding journey is two weeks strong woo -woo. Um, I'm very 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 proud of myself um and if you're wondering where the kids are they're playing outside in the front um with their father and um my neighbor so my neighbor across the street her daughter is the same age as Lennon so it's great because they play like almost every single day although we do have a backyard and I would prefer them to play in the backyard but I'll take what I could get so it's like a moment of peace my house is a mess I'll show you guys real briefly it's a mess um i have a mountain of dishes um it's just clutter and it bothers me but i know that that's not my priority right now my priority is to like fully heal fully you know be okay with like movement and stuff like that my body still hurts like i still have to take ibuprofen and everything um but you know all is well the family's doing great I recently got a king size bed because I like just bit the bullet and I found like a lightning deal on Amazon. It's not the most comfortable mattress ever, but I paid $380 for it. Um, and it's a king size mattress and it's a game changer. I've never had a king size bed and you just have so much more room. And a lot of people um, will disagree, but I shared the bed with the baby um, and with my husband, David. Um, we've done it for all three children. I mean, going back, you know, um, for generations, women have always, like, you know, shared the bed with their baby. Um, I think it's very important um, to bond with your baby and to each their own. You could do whatever. But for me, I need it because it's also part of, like, my healing process because I want to um, bond with the baby as much as I can because they're only little ones. And it's good for baby, good for mama, good for daddy, you know. And, um, it's, it's great, you know, and I even got a bigger size bed just to ensure her safety and everything. I know many of you guys don't have the same opinions and views as me, but I prefer to share the bed. Um, and I do have a bassinet next to, um, our bed and everything like that. So eventually we will, um, put her in the bassinet, but for now... I'm enjoying like as much as I can with baby and I mean like she's such a she's such a good baby and um yeah I'm just grateful um especially that you know I am able to um stay home um 
and cherish these moments and then I'm always gonna be able to go back to work so I go back to work in February so I uh can't believe time is passing so quickly because it's already the end of uh November so I'm trying to like soak up every moment but yeah I know many of you mamas are working as well so I feel for you um you know, I don't know how you guys do it and go back to work. It's going to be definitely a challenge for me. But I'm going to make it happen. But yeah, I just want to check in with you guys. Let you know an update, a two-week update. Um, I know these video qualities um, are kind of crappy. Um, but this reality. I just want to show you guys that, um, honestly, nothing has to be, like, picture perfect. Um, just because it's not real. So... This is my life, and I just want to share, like, a little bit of it. Um, not too much of it, but yeah, I will catch you guys later. Bye.